Welcome to Houdini Foundation's Model Render Animate. This lesson is designed for people who are new to Houdini. The goal of this lesson is to model, render, animate, and simulate a soccer ball using Houdini's procedural node-based workflow. You will create a classic bouncing ball animation using the principles of squash and stretch, apply textures and materials, add lights and cameras, and explore the use of dynamics to simulate a group of soccer balls. The lesson includes a PDF document with step-by-step -step instructions you can use to complete the lesson. To get started, it is most important to learn how to work with the Houdini workspace and the three panes you will use the most. Using Houdini's procedural approach, you can use a platonic solid to define the soccer ball shape. Feed attributes into a for each loop where the original patches will be extruded based on the attribute. Next, you will set up proper UVs on your object to support texturing. To create a scene for rendering, you are going to bring the geometry into the Solaris context of Houdini. Materials and shaders can also be created within the Solaris context. Learn how to set up a simple rig to make it easier to keyframe the soccer ball. To animate the ball bouncing, you will learn how to set keyframes, adjust animation curves, and work with time space handles in the viewport. To render out the animated soccer ball, you will need to go back to Solaris and set up a second shot. While traditional animation is great for animating a single soccer ball, Dynamics is a better solution if you want to animate a bunch of soccer balls. In conclusion, you will build a scene from scratch, touching on many different aspects of Houdini. You will model, set up textures, animate, render, and simulate. Along the way, you will learn about the different Houdini contexts and how to navigate back and forth between them. Good luck in your studies.